Each year, the European plastics industry compiles a comprehensive review what has been happening and the trends that are affecting the industry's future. Plastics are a global success story. We use it everywhere, but mostly in building and packaging. The industry has grown continuously for over 50 years, increasing from just 1.5 million tonnes in 1950 to 230 million tonnes in 2009, around 9% a year. Plastic production and consumption varies across Europe, with the highest production rates in Germany, Benelux, France, Italy, Spain and the UK. The same countries also consume most of this plastic in making products. Globally, Europe produces a quarter of all plastics, part of a worldwide trade, and enjoys a thriving export business with a positive trade balance. Our European industry turned 45 million tonnes of plastics into products in 2009. More than half of this went into long-life application, such as insulation, which will be in use for many years. And 40% of it was used for shorter-life products, like packaging. In 2009, Europe ended up with a total of 24 million tonnes of end-of-life plastics. Five and a half million tonnes of this waste was collected to be recycled into new products, and another 7.6 million tonnes of material was converted into energy using energy from waste technologies. The amount of Europe's end-of-life plastics going to waste in landfills in 2009 reduced again, a proportion that is growing year by year. Even though historically the amount of end-of-life plastics has been steadily increasing as we use more and more in our daily lives, improvements in end-of-life waste management have been increasing even faster. In 2009, the total of plastics recovered reached 54%, continuing a trend that has been growing for some years as we learn to capture the value of waste as a resource. 2008-2009 saw the first dip in the production and consumption of plastics for 60 years, with a consequent reduction in the amount of end-of-life material. But encouragingly, the proportion of material recovered at end-of-life through recycling, or by capturing its energy value, continued its year-on-year -year increase. End-of-life waste management solutions vary from country to country across Europe depending on local circumstances, and for some countries there will also be more than one solution as conditions differ from urban to rural areas. The best performing countries recover over 80% of their waste plastic. It is no coincidence that the best waste managing countries all have significant restrictions on landfilling. Such restrictions create strong drivers to recover the value from end-of-life materials. Combining restrictions on landfilling with well-coordinated systems for collection and sorting and utilising both recycling and energy recovery optimises the value that countries like Switzerland get back from their waste. The 2009 Plastics The Facts report confirms that with improving the end-of-life management we are beginning to maximise the value that plastics have to offer. The outlook for the future indicates that plastic has a vital role to play in helping to meet the sustainability challenges facing Europe as a valuable part of our economy, to help meet the needs of our growing population and to help us to combat challenges like climate change by reducing our need for energy.